what's up people thank you for downloading my action trust me i believe you're going to love this after this tutorial because this action is something i use for my um most time my logo presentation and you know most time i use it i always you know love the output of what i get after applying this action okay so i have the i'm sure you all have the exercise file because i'm sure you can't get this video without having the exercise file so i'm going to teach you how to install the action before we jump into applying it to your logo so i uh, if you don't have the action tab active the way i have mine now to make this appear as part of the tabs i have here part of the buttons i have here simply go to windows and select actions all right so once you click on this you have the mark sign um in front of it and this will appear on your screen so let's add this so i'm going to click on this icon here and i'm going to select load action so i need to locate the action by clicking on the um drive where i save it on my system so i'll click on training images and i'm going to look for it so this is it right here so look at this so this is the action here so if i click on it and i select load i'll have it as part of the actions i have here on my action panel so but because i already have it there's no need for me hitting the load button so i'm only going to say cancel so to apply this first you need to have your logo imported into your um, artboard so i'm going to drag this which is my logo and drop right here and i'm going to hold on alt and scale this down this way i'm using photoshop cc 2019 so i'm going to hold on alt and position this here like this and i'll put this here all right so i'll double click to take away the um tracks transform adjustment and i'm going to push this here and let's start to see the magic of the action so i'm going to click on this um, icon this down arrow icon here to make to make this appear so i'll click on this all right and i'll hit the play button now i'm going to relax and see what i'm going to see what the result is going to look like Woo, beautiful now um there are times when you may i need to zoom in so you can see what i'm doing there are times when you um may not want the color of your logo to look too strong like this all right on your um, image so to reduce that to reduce the strength of your color simply go to fill all right click on this icon and push this down all right you see this is beginning to look more realistic so i'm going to push this to about this point but if you feel you want your logo to be more visible simply push this up to have this but for this image i think i have to make this go around 28 like this all right now i'll leave it at 39 all right so now let's go to the next step which is this okay so please i and i almost forgot to say tell you guys this please when you're applying this action try as much as possible to make sure that your that's the project size should be um something around five six five six five the way i have it here the width should be five six five so let's add um our two objects to this doc tags so first you need to create a layer all right so i'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon and i'll double click this and call this vanish point all right okay so now i'm going to go to the layer where i have my shapes or my objects and then cut them from there and apply them to the doctor um, document all right so this is how to do this so always have your logo so uh, open somewhere and i'm going to cut this now by creating a square i'm um, a rectangle marquee selection around the shape and make sure you're on the right layer now i'm going to hit command x or ctrl x on my keyboard to cut the heart shape from this um, document all right for and um, i'll go to doctor project okay so i'm going to go to filter and i'll select vanishing point and i'm going to select the create plane tool and create uh, my plane tool on the 
doc tag so i'm going to click on my first point here now when you're making use of this tool you only have the grace to make just four points so i have one two three and the last point is going to be here now notice this is not falling on this line so i need to adjust that by coming here and drag this all right now please make sure you are on the right line of you where you want to apply the object okay so now i'm going to hit command v or control v on my keyboard and i'll push this down all right now see what happened you see my logo force and light part where i wanted to be immediately i drag it and drop on my create plane to shape that i drew so to adjust my uh, objects please make sure you have the grace to see the angle all right like this of your objects before you select this tool so when i click now you see i have i can see my adjustment points here so i'm going to hold down shift and drag in push in sorry and i'll push this up again shift again and drag it down push it up shift and drag it down and i'll position it here then now uh, i'm going to hit okay so i'm fine with this position and i'll say okay now i have it where i want it to be so let's put the next um, logo which is this so i'm going to drag again with my rectangle marquee tool and make sure you're on the right layer and i'll hit command x or control x on my keyboard to cut the logo and i'll go to the uh, tab where i have the dog tag now and i'll go to filter select vanishing point and i'll go i will zoom in with control plus position this here so i'll go to the create plane tool again remember four points and make sure you don't go outside of the line of your shape so i'm going to hit ctrl v or command v to paste the logo let's zoom out something's not right see ctrl space by drag to zoom in so i'm going to position this here and i'll select the transform tool hold and shift and drag this down push it back in here all right so i'll position this here good and i'll, and I'll click ok now let's apply our action so i'll click on the um, action play button here click on the um, action i want to apply and i'll hit the play button good so i'm going to zoom in now to see what i have now you see it's looking at like my um bevel or my um bevel effect is too strong so to adjust this i think it's coming from the shadow part so to adjust the shadow you can always click on this eye icon to hide it or if you feel hiding it is affecting the look of your logo then you can double click on it to bring the layer style go to shadow all right inner shadow and reduce the opacity like this i'm sure you get the idea all right this is looking nice to me i think i like it this way now let's go to the last um tab which is the card parts the complementary card i already have the vanishing points um effect on this one so i'll just go straight to uh no sorry i almost forgot to create a new layer always remember to create a new layer when you're applying the vanishing point effect so i'm going to call this vanishing and i'll hit ok now i'm going to click on filter and select vanishing point so you see i already have the vanishing point on the boys out of the card so i need to push this back in like this all right and i'll push this in Click on all right so i'm going to hit command v to paste my logo and i'll position this here click on the transform to hold shift down and drag this in drag it in shift down and drag it in now notice something my logo is facing the wrong direction so to adjust that make sure you're still on the transform to and make your mouse go outside the frame of your logo like this and then click and drag to rotate well, immediately you see this icon all right it means you're ready to, ro to um, rotate your logo so i'll position this here and i am going to reduce it just a little bit more 
my position somewhere here i think i'm okay with this okay cool so now let's apply the uh, action so click on this like we did on in the previous tab so i'm going to click oh, the play button and i have this now if i zoom in you see the strength of what i have now this is looking super cool to me change the color of your um logo or your object simply select the second um layer which is the inner bevel double click all right on this on any of the two is either the bevel or the or the inner shadow then go straight to color overlay and then you see i have the grace to change the color of my logo to any color of my choice all right now i notice when i change to this blue color i'm having this strong shadow effect go to inner shadow and reduce the strength of my shadow opacity like this now you see it's beginning to make sense now all right so i think i like it this way and i'm gonna click okay, okay thank you guys for watching this video please if you use this action for any projects kindly tag me on instagram or um when you're putting your the hashtag on the post remember to put hashtag caesar graphics all right now the spelling of the caesar graphics is right here all right so just please encourage me so i can do more actions for you guys and i'll see you guys in my next action video all right peace out